Only on NBC 29 tonight, meet Ray Ford. He's been the doctor for generations of children here in Central Virginia. In retirement, Dr. Ford has found a second calling, one that takes him 1,300 miles south to Haiti. NBC 29's Henry Graff traveled with the doctor last week as well and is here with that story. Hey guys, get Dr. Ray Ford talking about Haiti and he can't help but get emotional on the subject. It's that passion that takes him to a remote part of the country to make a difference in the lives of people who need it the most. They come from all over in search of medical care, looking for hope in a place where it's hard to find. I always felt like I really wasn't doing much. Dr. Ray Ford says the calling was clear and simple. We're a long way from the hospital here. And so began Ford's love for the Haitians. Haitians are the most incredible people. Their dignity and their spirit uh, just amazes us when we come here. The energy of this place. If Dr. Ford looks familiar, it's because for decades he's taken care of children in Charlottesville. In Haiti, he and a team attend to the medical needs of Haitians. There's no doubt about it. Our docs who've come over many years uh, observe the general health in this area, which is the area we serve, is gradually, definitely improving. Ford volunteers with the Haiti Mission. During a week-long clinic, he tended to this child suffering from a severe case of anthrax on his face. It's so important to let him know that he's going to get better. And help the pair of six-day-old twins whose mother died during childbirth. The clinic here in Greece on Guard is open all year round. The Charlottesville-based medical team comes down here four times a year, seeing anywhere between two and 4,000 Haitian patients in a single week. They help us a lot here. And when the team is here, so I feel very happy because I've got a chance to see many people, many cases. Dr. Eugene Mocklin works at the Haitian clinic. He says without the support of Dr. Ford and others, many of these Haitians would never see a health professional in their lifetime. People appreciate that too. You, know, you, can, you can see that. They are, they are, they, we, have, we have a lot of people here. But for Dr. Ford, the work on the ground in Haiti is far from done. But I'd say overall things are a little bit better. Dr. Ford's efforts don't stop with medicine. His own foundation once built an orphanage and school in that small town, but that school is now overcrowded, and I really don't use that term lightly. Tonight at 11, I will take you into those classrooms to show you what they look like, and we'll also talk about how Dr. Ford is teaming up with Charlottesville's Building Goodness Foundation to expand the school, but here's the catch. Your help is needed. And we talk about how things are getting a little bit better, a lot of work to get a little bit better. <laughs> and slowly but surely, I mean, we, I was in Port-au-Prince for a very short amount of time before we flew up into the northern part of the country last week, and it is slowly but surely getting better each time I go down there. You can see those improvements, but like you said, a lot to move just a little. All right, thanks, Henry. Thank see you. See you at 11.